Most volcanoes are formed at the bottom of the ocean. When an underwater volcano grows until it reaches the surface, you get a new island. People who live near large volcanoes keep a very close eye on them and have plans for evacuating the area before an eruption can hurt them. You're so right, Tim. As my uncle Leslie always says, when a volcano talks, people listen. Earth isn't the only place where you can find volcanoes. In fact, Mars is the largest known volcano in the solar system. Olympus Mons is larger than all of the Hawaiian islands strung together. If this hard-boiled egg was the earth, the yolk would be the core, the egg white would be the hot mantle, and the shell would be the crust. The crust of the earth is broken into big plates that look like the pieces of an eggshell. When I crack a plate at home, my mom erupts. Every now and then, a plate of the earth's crust that lies beneath the ocean bumps into a plate on the land. The oceanic plate gets pushed down into the mantle and magma forms. This new magma becomes lava when it spurts up and out through a volcano. If this hard-boiled electronic distance measurement uses a laser light to measure the distance between two points. If a new batch of magma is rising to the top of a volcano, the volcano gets bigger and the distance between the two points gets larger. When magma builds up inside a volcano, it pushes the top upward and outward so that the ground tilts. Scientists use a tilt meter to measure these changes. To find out what's going on inside a volcano, scientists use a gas detector. It tells them what kinds of gases are coming out and how fast they're traveling. My nose tells me they smell like rotten eggs. Electro a seismograph. I hope this volcano doesn't pull any surprises. No need to fear an eruption interruption here, Arnold. Scientists are keeping a very close eye on this volcano. They study its shape, monitor earthquakes, and test the steam and other gases that come out of it. They would know if it was about to blow. Volcanologists have to be smart, brave, and not mind the heat. They study volcanoes up close and personal. According to my research, a volcano forms when melted rock called magma reaches the Earth's surface. Welcome to Leapin' Lava. This bus really needs your help to make it across the treacherous lava and mud flows. Click where you want the bus to go. Click in front of the bus to jump across using safe floating objects. To earn extra points, pick up stranded animals along the way. Good luck lava leaping! Medium. the game again? Come back soon for more lava leaping. Welcome to rub a dub Sub. Your mission is to collect as many rocks as you can while safely navigating your submarine to the research ship. Just click where you want the submarine to go or use the arrow key. Move the sub toward the research ship while you avoid tube worms, black smokers, and heat vents. Pick up starfish for extra chances and clam bubbles for protection. But watch out for red hot lava. It's a grueling race against the clock, but I know you're up to it. Good luck, submarine sailor. Media.
when a volcano is angry. It blows its top! Welcome to Fractured Photos. To solve a puzzle, click and drag each piece to its place. To work on a new puzzle, just click the arrows at the bottom of the screen. Good luck! Hard! Excellent job reconstructing this busy volcanic vent. It's called Pu'u O'O, after the O'O, an extinct Hawaiian bird. Come back soon for more fractured photos. <laughs> How can you tell when a volcano is angry? It blows its top! It's time to take chances, get messy, and make your own volcano! Click the buttons on either side to pick how thick the lava is and how much gas is in it. Then click the go button to see if your volcano makes a little splatter or a big blast. Low gas, runny magma. Hawaiian eruptions create hot runny rivers of lava that can go for miles. Medium gas. With ruddy magma like this, you can create smaller lava fountains and lovely lava flows. High gas. When you see a lava fountain high in the air, chances are you're looking at a Hawaiian eruption. Medium magma. How stupendous! A Strombolian eruption puts on quite a show and it can go on for months or even years. Medium gas. Look at that lovely cinder cone. Low gas. Without a lot of gas, this eruption is on the quiet side. It's slow going when you've got chunky ah uh -uh lava. Thick magma. This thick lava won't flow far. It piles up to form a lava dome. Medium thick ma medium gas. Look at those rocks fly. This volcanian eruption is sending blocks and ash high into the sky. High gas. Congratulations! You've created a Plinian eruption. What a blast of gas! Look at that huge eruption column. <laughs> Welcome to the life and times of a volcano. Starring the Earth's crust and hot molten rock called magma. Click the arrows to view the important stages in a volcano's life. The life of a volcano long before a volcano erupts, magma collects in a pocket called a magma chamber. Most magma chambers are located less than 10 miles below the surface. Magma forces its way upward like oil and water until a path to the surface is created. This throat of the volcano is called the central vent. Hot gases are trapped inside the magma, just like the bubbles that are trapped inside.